What's happening guys, your boy TJ, welcome back to the channel. We call buys gold in the free telegram group, link is in the description, make sure you all join up. Pretty nice analysis, I'm going to show you on the charts in just a second, but I also wanted to say, when you are trading, and if you are new, I've been trading for a long period of time, and you're struggling to make them improvements with your self-development, if that's following into trades, risk managing properly, or maybe even possibly over leveraging your, your account, and then you're hitting the max drawdown on these prop firm accounts or on the live accounts, your trades are getting closed out because you're, you know, you're going over the margins and it's really, really affecting your trading. If you are doing this, please subscribe, hit the notifications. I'm gonna be uploading every day on this channel, plus I'm doing a Reacts channel that I've been uploading one every two days, but I'm gonna basically be giving out so much free education that you don't want to miss out. It's all to do with my life experience through trading, all everything I've learned and then still learning today. I still make mistakes. I, everything I do, I put it into a group anyway, and that's the free Telegram. So make sure you're involved in that. But without further ado, I appreciate the support. And let's get into the analysis. Let's go. Yo, what's popping? Your boy TJ jumping on the charts now. Obviously, this was a free trading signal over you know, plus 10% insane stuff actually. I'm reading it out right now, I'll tell you. Plus 5% secured, and then I had another trade which was plus 10% because I took about a minus 4% in the morning. So averaging about 10, 11% for the day. And this was all to do with 1662 buys, which were down here. We had SL at 1661. And I'll just show you the trade, it's pretty simple, but I'll also do like a full breakdown on how it is and how the market's going to be moving because I thought it was gonna go down to 1633 slash 1629 and then obviously go into 1678 and it didn't quite do that but if you're looking at here we pulled up to 1675 these are pullbacks this 1h come down 1661 it's gonna be buyers from here all the way to 1678 that's pretty much 1662 right here by 1678. I ended up closing for 100 pips, which is at the top of 1672. And uh, as I said, made 10, 10 plus percent on this trade right here. We see it reject, which is kind of strange on the body, but it didn't actually touch. So therefore, I think this is just a retest back down to grab liquidity at the body of the previous bully high. So this engulfing up here. It's grabbed liquidity and now we should see rebuys back in the system here about 1662 so 1663 area but let's just say we got entry now at 1663 profit target 1678 and stop loss 1662 but remember i have 10 pip stop losses <clears throat> but to avoid getting wicked out like right now as an example you move SL to 1661. Yes, your drawdown could be minus, could take a minus 2% loss. That's part of the game. It's part of the game. You're you're expecting liquidity grab here, and you're expecting liquidity grab around there. And if you're looking at the five minutes, it's done that. If we pull back even more, then SL 1660, because it's not going to go. But this lower high right here shouldn't come wicked out again, because it should now go bullish. So because it's at 1661, it shouldn't touch again. We've seen the lower highs here pull back on the five minutes. We know we've got four minutes as well till it's over. So we should see highs get created and another push up. And then we see it break out into the bullish structure. And that's all because of 1H. Looking at the 1H, previous bullish engulfing highs right here, which is at the body of the rejection. Now, when you see, when you see these highs, Two seconds, let me get that back. When you see these highs, you're going bullish high, and we've seen it pull back to the body as well. Pull up, make new highs, and now this is the retest. So this high, this lower high right here will just go up to here in the next next hour straight away. And that's all to do with market direction. You know, we're still having to push bullish, even though people will be like, you know, it's a descending channel, we're gonna see further pullbacks. And then if you look on the one H, you go highs created. Okay, further pullback 1657, maybe even 1642 before further buys. But we haven't actually retraced back to the 1678 bodies yet. 
which is one, two, three, touch, then bearish engulfing to the downside. We haven't actually hit that yet, which means, and it's showing to me, we're gonna retrace back to them highs, which is this area right here. Now we've broken out of this zone, made highs, pulled back, pulled back to the bullish engulfing of the bullish movement of the retracement. So now we're gonna see buys again at this area because we've get, gained support, pulled up again, pulled back, pulled back to now the, the previous channel, which is this zone here, previous channel of the push up and then we go bullish make pull back to 1674 and the reason for this is because gold is never just going to push up and then sell you know that's one two there's no free touch therefore this is all this bearish is just a liquidity grab to the downside to trick the sellers and for it to go to this bullish momentum if you're looking on the daily I want to push above 1674 to 1678. It doesn't look too clear on a daily, but the 1H, 4H, 15 mins, it makes sense. And because we're day trading, we need to know when to get in. So this is a good position to get in. So we get in here. Obviously, SL probably 1660, 50 to be on the safe side, but 1661 is fine. If we get tapped out at 1661, then I just jump straight back in with a 10 pip SL. And then say if you're getting in down here, you only need <clears throat> gold to go to 1662 to make that minus 1% up here again. Or minus 2%, you need to go to 1663 again. But, you know, it's just how trading is. You've got to see some bear, uh, bu bullish momentum very, very soon. But that's an overall analysis on gold and my understanding of it, of where it's going to. Should hopefully stagger, find support. And then go bullish from here on in. Back to the retracement of the 1682 one, two, three touch sells. Before it sold on this one H, it comes to the body and then instantly sold 1678. So it's my analysis, guys. I'm grinding my absolute arsehole. Subscribe, like this content, comment down below if it, these help you. This is proper, proper trading. This is how you do it. There's no no lies to this. This is even a live trade right now. And then I call it my free Telegram group, which you guys can join for free. That's the only group I'm really doing at the moment. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. I appreciate the support. And let's keep making this percent, baby. Peace.